Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tai Hutu. Yes, coming you, to you from Alicante, in Spain. Sun is starting to shine, so yes, I can put out my hoodie very soon. Short TA video because it's Monday morning, and I'm going to show you what I think that this week will be about when it comes to Bitcoin trading, guys. Let's jump quickly into the charts so you can see exactly what I mean. Amazing charts, by the way. Watch till the end because you don't want to miss the last two charts. The last two charts will be really cool. I haven't seen them before. I haven't shared them before. So watch till the end, of course, guys. Let's jump into the first shot. Bam. This is the first chart. Um, you can see this is a four hour chart. Yes, we drew that triangle now already a few times and a few times we needed to adjust the lines. But still, however you draw, uh, uh, draw it, it is very exciting. You can see there is volume coming in now with this green candle over there, getting us back into it. Before we drew um, it like this, and then it was like that. So we were down below the triangle, which is possible. But it could also be that it is, the triangle is like that, guys. So it's all about the lines. And you never know exactly, but you know that you, when it comes to the end of such a um, structure, there will be an explosion up or down. We are nearing that red line, the 21 MA. And we need to break that one. You can see exactly at the red line, we are finding resistance. We need to break that one. If we break that one, look to the left over there. And you can see the moment you break it, you have a lot of volume coming in. You retest and you go up again. So that will be the same here. The moment we break that, you will retest and you will go up again. And maybe we can go back to that 40k level then because there's a lot of volume over here. Guys, we can still break out to the bottom. That would mean we would fall from there, bam, back to the 30K. That amount where a lot of whales have some buy orders to buy up your Bitcoin sheep because you're selling them with weak hands. Um, if I look at the bam, bam indicator in this uh, screen, guys, let's see. Then we are at the bottom with a line around 44. 44 is an average level. We could bring it all the way up to 80, like we saw before, that is these highs over there. So if we go back to 80, there's a lot of upwards movement possible. We can see the blue line just crossed the white line. We can see that down below here, the yellow is decreasing tremendously. We saw even a green dot, the green dot, yellow decreasing, we will probably see green. When the Trinity line over here, the green comes on top as well. And we see a long flag that could be a very beautiful long to take. Let's take a look if we see a long flag at the moment, guys. Yes, the long flag was already there yesterday. I will okay, make this one gone. So you can see the long flag was already here. And now we close the candle above that yellow stepping line. And the moment we close candles above that yellow stepping line, that is the moment we take the trade. Uh, I was sleeping at that point, but when you take the trade over there, you can mostly take the trade profit at the top of that blue line over there, which would be a 4.7% trade without leverage, with a leverage, even bigger. Again, I would only take the trade when they see green. So for me, it needs to be a flag, the first combination, a closing above it, second confirmation the bam bam needs to be crossing third confirmation a dot is okay but i would prefer to see green then i have the fourth and maybe even the fifth confirmation then it would be a definitive uh, long at the moment of course because it's such an exciting game between the bears and the bulls hmm, wait it wait till we break this red line for example guys. let's jump to the next chart bam the video is taking too long this is the daily chart. So we're going to zoom out yeah, from the four hour to the daily. Still moving down below that 
200 line over there, the 200 day moving average. We need to come above that line again. And like you can see, we had the bottom. We are moving up from the bottom. The top should be somewhere around the 46K. So yes, still possible, still in play. Here in the bottom, you can still see some dots are being created. Maybe this time we will see a blue dot. We don't know yet, but we just keep track on that chart. Bam, the cross, the bearish cross or the dead cross. Yes, that could happen, but please be aware the dead cross or the bearish cross, however you want to call it, I prefer bearish cross, is a little bit more positive, um, is always lagging behind. This drop over there that we see, this drop, that is the reason why it could be a cross. That doesn't mean that if the cross is there, we're going to drop way more further. If we look back to the previous time this happened, look here, this drop that one the big one that created the cross over there and it didn't mean that we went lower than that low it meant that we need to recover slowly and then make a new cross to the upside and then have that huge run so don't be focused on this dead cross it's going to kill us no mostly when you see that we already saw the bottom and from the bottom we are working way up again 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 and then we make a new bullish cross and that bullish cross can be very powerful so not freak out always zoom out guys bam next chart we have this one we are zooming a little bit more out this is the monthly chart like you can see in the monthly chart we've been talking about this on the bottom you see the oh on the bottom you see the nvt we can see that the nvt is creating higher lows also now again we are not crossing down long the support we are creating a higher low because it's turning around already and what i find really interesting on this chart guys um, I'm going to show you now, maybe my face is a little bit in the bottom now in, in the screen, but the, the thing is, if we would add the moving average, that red line, and it's a 12 moving average, so that is, if you check it over here, the 12 moving average, because on the monthly chart, I prefer to look at that one, and we look here, in 2013, we pulled back to the 12 moving average, you see that over there? There, that was a touch. And in 2017, again, we did the same. It was over, over there. We almost had that touch in this area. And now, if we compare with 2013, yes, we almost in 17 had that touch over there. So after we touched it in 2017, we went up. After we touched that line in 2013, we went up. So, in my opinion, after we touch that line, we will still follow the yellow line I drew already some time ago. We will go up. Now, guys, um, if you want to trade the BAM BAM I was just talking about and all that stuff, uh, please go to our videos and down below the videos in the description, you see all the links. You will find the link. No, you will find I need to say go back to the dog because the dog is walking in my cable. But below the videos, we'll see the links about, um, you know, you can go to Bybit, take the referral link over there. You get a thousand dollar bonus. I think now even two thousand six hundred ten dollars. You can go to do the extra hundred dollar bonus and you can get a prime equity 50 percent deposit bonus up to one Bitcoin. That's a huge 30K bonus. If you want to claim your bonus of prime equity, of course, you need to deposit two Bitcoins or something to get that bonus. But you can get these bonuses, guys. Let's jump in two really cool other charts. Um, let's take a look at these two charts because you need to see these charts that are these charts. One, two, three, four, five. Where do, where do you go? Bam. Bam. These charts. The last two charts of the day. Amazing charts, I must say. That was a rhyme again. Diddy is about to play. Yes. Um, here we can draw. This is the most zoomed out chart available. These are the... Bitcoin yearly candles. Every candle is a year. Let's do the count. One, two, three green candles, one red candle. One, two, three green candles, one red candle. One, two, three green candles, and then next year a red candle. As you'll see, we are doing exactly what we always do. So we are just... Um, making these candles i'm going to move my face so you can see the numbers as well sorry charts btc they already saw now that you've created it 
But as you can see, we are doing this cycle every time again. Now, the most important part of this is, if we take a look at the green candles, those three bullish years, and then we take a look at the third green candle, that is the biggest green candle of those three. The third green candle, again here, the biggest candle of those three. The third green candle should be the biggest green candle of those three. This third green candle still needs to go up tremendously, in my opinion, above the 100k level so that it again will be the biggest green candle of those three. Next chart, bam, over here. This is also really cool. I need to see where my face is on this chart. Um, yeah, it's okay. Here, charts BTC, get some um, beautiful um, promotion on my channel again. Um, also very interesting, you can see the market cap of Bitcoin, that's the top blue line. It has been going up, 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 all the way over there now. You can see the red line, there's the net inflow, there's the, vol the, the, the inflow of the coins mined per day, that is this line, also beautifully increasing. This blue line over there, that's the total coins that will grow to the year 2140, because, you know, that will be the year when the last Bitcoin will be mined, and the orange line is the Bitcoin price. So all these lines are beautiful in line. The only line that is different is the green line because okay after each halving less coins are being created you can see over here and after this halving again less coins will be created less coins will be created that's how that works with the halvings but all these you can see they all are growing in the same way so if you zoom out you will understand that this line will go up over here that this line will go up over here and this line will go up over there this is just the best picture of how you can see that we are all the market cap, the new Bitcoins, all that stuff is being growing uh, side by side beautifully in the last couple of years, guys. And bam, that was everything for today. Keeping it short, keeping it powerful. Hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Please leave a comment and yes, let me know what you think about these charts. If you haven't tried Prime XBT yet, make sure you sign up to Prime XBT, 50% deposit bonus, really cool exchange exchange yeah, with a lot of stuff uh, you can copy trade uh, other traders you can uh, play the booster game um, you can also do leverage trading really cool exchange beautiful um, user interface so take a look at prime xbt yes they sent me this one for my christmas present already i didn't wear it yet because it's like yeah it's always warm where am i where i am but now here in the morning it's a little bit frio and when it's frio i would look like i love to wear a hoodie with a huddle cap guys thanks for watching see you tomorrow again who is she over there she's looking all the time at my screen i don't know who she is but she just she enjoyed the video as well she is giving it a thumbs up oh no she doesn't have arms she can't get a thumbs up <laughs> guys see you later today and else not see you tomorrow again Bam. <laughs>